Today we're talking about Trans Global Group Inc. OTC symbol TGGI. And today we're sitting up about 4.1%. And I want to get into a piece of news that I found. So the first bit is from about a month ago. And then I found some more stuff from just a couple of days ago on them. First, we're going to focus on the uh, rumors about the potential Chinese merger. And so this is from March 18th, so keep in mind this is a little bit old, but we're going to get to the new stuff first. Transglobal Group Inc. shares have started to receive significant attention from the market participants over the last three months. However, much of what has begun to define the story now relates to events exclusively covered in Chinese and to a Chinese audience and therefore may not be clear to most U.S. investors. With that in mind, we lay out the relevant facts below and that have recently been circulating about Transglobal Group in China so that the reader may make an informed decision about the stock. The big points. The rumors relate to the potential for a Zui Zhanggui International Holdings Group to reverse, reverse merger into the TGGI shell. The company's intent is to gain access to U.S. capital markets is highlighted by this article here. I'll link that in the description below as well, in which Xi Zhanggui has already started listing, already started the listing process and and is preparing to go to the public on the NASDAQ in the United States. We also found some sites suggesting that a person named Ren Fiang is the chairman of the board with both Transglobal Group and Xi Zhengui International Holdings Group here. The key facts. Based on some due diligence, a gentleman named Ren Fiang appears to be a key piece of the story. Ren would seem to be the chairman of TGGI's board of directors, according to several pieces recently appearing in the Chinese press. Interestingly, he is also apparently the chairman of Xi Zhengui International Holdings Group, a specialty wine and spirits company based in China that has emerged as a potential leader in nanotechnology-based wine production, whatever the fuck that means. Nanotechnology in the wine industry is starting to become potentially a potentially significant trend. A simple Google search for nanotech for wine will confirm this. A recent piece in Wine Australia provides an effective summary. One prominent example of how this works is through the attachment of magnetic nanoparticles to a special polymer that can be added to the wine to bind with impurities before subsequently being extracted along with the impurity through the use of a simple external magnet producing a superior wine. That is interesting stuff. It turns out that Xi Zhengui is up and coming potential leader in this space in China. The plot thickens, as they say. Recent news suggests that Xi Zhengui is in the process of reverse merging into an OTC company to gain exposure to U.S. investment markets. While we haven't found anything that directly says what the vehicle for this strategic move will be, one should reflect on the fact that the two companies will appear to share the same chairman of the board. It also turns out that leadership for Transglobal Group, according to coverage in the Chinese press, recently attended a restructuring and acquisition process through which Xi Zhengui would become the overarching holdings company containing Hong Kong Xi Chang investment, a financial arm specializing in strategic acquisitions and M&A, and fire culture communications, a marketing and communications firm. All right, we're summarizing the puzzle pieces here. We don't know the story in absolute terms, but we know that a leading name in nanotechnology-based wine and spirits production in China, Xi Zhengui International Holdings Group, has reportedly been working on a merger process to back the company into a currently traded OTC ticker. We also know that the individual who appears to be chairman of Xi Zhengui also appears to be the chairman of TGGI. Furthermore, we know TGGI leadership appears to have actively engaged in evaluating Xi Zhengui, including its recent restructuring and acquisition activities. All right. At the same time, TGGI shares recently launched higher on a large uptick in volume rallying as much as 4,900% in two months with no press releases, filings, or official communications from the company. That represents an inordinate rush of investment over the past two months in the stock. Given that TGGI is officially an empty shell at this point with no operations of any kind, it's hard to understand the action in the stock without assuming something important is going on that has shares reacting to rumors and leaks. An empty shell transforming into an emerging high-tech wine and spirits company with real operations in the massive Chinese marketplace with attached subsidiaries in the communication and finance markets would certainly seem to suffice as a plausible explanation. However, Seeming associations like this have occurred in the past and left speculators hanging in the wind, hence caveat emptor applies. So let's go to Twitter 
And this is from Fad Calta Jerome. Fad, if you're out there, I hope I pronounce your name right. The big points of rumors relate to the potential for Zhejiangui International Holdings Group to reverse merger into the TGGI shell. The company's intent to gain access to the capital markets. Okay, so now the live date. He's saying something more will be revealed by May 2nd. So that could be huge. Got some good reactions out of here. This is what I call DD. D D D D D D D D D. Hats off, my man. This is going to be a global thing. From Mr. Kim. Love it. Good work. So yeah, if you are in and uh, you're seeing the massive uh, sell-off here that's going on, I mean, I don't really think it's worth it to sell now before the news drops of a potential merger. Uh, if you're thinking about getting in, now looks like pretty much the bottom for this. Um, I think we're going to know more in a couple of weeks. You know, May, May 2nd is right around the corner. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will provide more updates on TGGI as I find it.